Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Orange's Let's Plays. Today I'm going to discuss this new hero and give my first impressions on whether or not you should uh, pull for this hero based on the skills that make up her kit. Um, because as we know, as I've mentioned before, when you see a hero showcase on a hero, whether they are new or someone already existing in the game, that means there's going to be a summoning event coming up probably by the end of this week uh, on Friday or Saturday, whenever they decide to do the summoning. I think it's going to be Friday. Uh, that will um, focus on this hero. So this, these will be my first impressions. To my returning viewers, thanks so much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Lawrence. Let's play! So let's jump in here. So this new hero is named Giselle, the Eternal Duelist. High attack speed and multi-strike attack. So I've already kind of looked at her a little bit. I love her design. Let's just uh, say that right now, Chaotic Nightmare. The the thing with the eyes going on there and blood red with the, the red going up and down. Really, really cool design. Is she a vampire? I guess she's maybe a vampire. It doesn't really say she's a vampire, but she looks very vampiric to me, like a vampiress. Uh, so Giselle is a fighter normal. And it says Giselle's uh, agile and mesmerizing bloody sword dance instills terror in the hearts of her foes. Her attacks are rapid and precise and the extra attack speed can greatly enhance her crit damage so i do want to point out um, when i go into her kit you'll see that it's really cool that moon 10 is introducing new mechanics to the skills that make up our the hero's kits that we can summon for like wazir recently uh when he was part of the wazir hex banner i did not get him if you guys got him you'll know how good he is the anti-healing is really effective in a stage like uh, especially hard content G uh, gr1 like dash 19 and beyond because of preventing uh, elwin from consistently healing those enemies on the wall so the fact that they're introducing this character with a new mechanic is really cool so let's kind of go into it so first off her talent doing damage inflicts one stack of bloodbane on the target what does bloodbane do lawrence when dealing damage to an enemy with three bloodbane stacks consumes five percent of the current hero's hp and removes all three stacks doing 120 percent aoe damage to up to three enemies near the enemy quite cool uh, basic attack, 100% damage to one enemy, uh, goes up to 120%, uh, which is pretty typical. Uh, when you look at Whirlwind Edge here, when the ultimate is triggered, keeps rotating for a while, doing multiple 90% damage to enemies around randomly. Now, this is what's really interesting about her kit. The shorter the attack interval, the higher the damage frequency. That can be uh, skilled up to 100% damage and uh, the skill cost does get reduced 200 so it goes down from nine to seven with an initial rage of 400. it's a very short duration at six seconds for an alt that's quite short uh, what i'm uh, not i wouldn't say concerned about but what i'm confused about um and please someone let me know in the comments if you understand what this actually means is how to read this so the shorter the attack interval the higher the damage frequency when I think of shortening the attack interval, you're you're attacking more often, but how does that increase the damage frequency? I would think it would increase just simply the frequency of the attack. I don't know if this is worded weird or if this is some kind of new mechanic that I'm not aware of. Please let me know in the comments. But this is pretty interesting as well, her passive. 10% of extra attack speed is converted into crit damage. So when you have a hero like Vierna, Vierna, like she doesn't benefit from attack speed uh, uh, like on her basic um, attack speed increase doesn't help her basic at all but here you have a hero now that 10 percent of extra attack speed is converted converted into crit damage so she can boost her own crit damage crit damage converted uh, goes up an extra two four six uh, 10 percent so 20 percent of extra attack speed is converted into crit damage and what is the extra attack speed the attack speed obtained through any means other than the initial 100 attack speed so she's boosting her own crit the higher you build her attack speed so this means this is a hero you're going to want to build with build with attack speed which is quite interesting increases damage dealt to enemies with hp percentage higher than 70 percent by 14 percent this is her oblivion strike passive and that does uh, go uh, down to a 60% enemy HP threshold, and the damage increases by 6%, so it's 20% additional damage for enemies um, uh, fully skilled up that are 60% uh, or lower. 
quite interesting character. I will say uh, with Arena, she's going to be a beast because she's gotten an automatic boost of 15%. She is dual faction, so she's chaotic and nightmare, which is quite cool to see. Uh, but I do want to point out something that I did not like. I looked in her awakenings, and I want to show you this first awakening is quite whack, uh, in my opinion. I hate to use an 80s, uh, 80s uh, term there, but I don't know how else to say it. This is whack. Ultimate damage frequency multiplies, but the ultimate damage multiplier is reduced by 40%. Like, this is another one of the deals with a Chaos hero that, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of these heroes because of the fact that they have to lose HP to do more damage. It's a weird mechanic. I, I, I like that they're introducing unique stuff like this to the game, but... I'm not really big on these Chaos uh, Dominion heroes, personally. I do see uh, some benefit of some of them. I, I think Cerberus will be quite good in a lot of uh, content because of him continuously, you know, uh, putting that um, that uh, effect on the ground, the, the pull that's automatically AoE damage and enemies and stuff. But I love her design. I will say that. Uh, I love the unique uh, aspect of not having to worry about building her with too much crit damage. You don't have to focus on that so much, but you do have to focus on attack speed to really get the most benefit out of her. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this new hero. Uh, I'm personally not going to pull for her. To be honest, I'm saving to pull uh, for a future hero. Uh, check Ma Buckets, uh, a shout out to his um, his amazing channel. He did a showcase video on Kai, K-A-I, who is another Star Piercer Marksman coming to the game. Marksman being my absolute favorite character class in the game. Uh, Star Piercers being my favorite faction, in fact. Um, be sure to check out that video because it was um, a hero showcase on a character that has been released um, uh, as far as the Forerunner servers. We don't have him yet globally, but he will be coming, and I will personally be saving for him. And once you uh, check out his video, I think you will discover that he might be someone you would be willing to save for as well. So that's kind of what I'm in uh, to at this point in the stage of, of my game. I'm saving for Kai. Uh, let me know if you guys decide to pull for this hero, what you think about this hero, uh, what your first impressions are. Be sure to keep it locked right here at Lawrence's Let's Plays for additional Watcher Realms content coming your way real soon. Nothing left to say. This has been Lawrence, Lawrence's Let's Plays, and I am out of here. Take care, everybody. See you real soon.